Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. You really gotta shake, 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 a shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. La Sol, Voy, Loca. So people are like, hey Thor, why did the sun just do that? And, well, I think the official science answer is that the sun has ants in its pants, so it does a little dance. You ever had ants in your pants? In Texas, it's a horrible thing. Because it usually means they're fire ants, and they're going to bite you. And fire ants are mean sons of bitches. They go as high as they can. They go to the most sensitive parts of your body. And then they bite you. So the sun is all like, oh, dude, oh, what the, what did I step in? So yeah, I agree with science. The sun has ants in its pants, man. It's still doing better in the world. The world has ants in its brain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the world has gone insane. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my acclaimed Nobel Prize winning solar physics, celestial physics show. The minimal double peaked solar maximum. That was really, really, really weird. Wait, let me correct myself at the beginning. I said I, I'm a Nobel Prize winner. That, 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 I misspoke. I'm a no cowbell prize winner. I make mistakes. It's, I'm half human, you know. It's bound to happen every once in a while. Forgive me. If you ain't got forgiveness in your heart, you don't belong here on Thor News. And we've been staring at the sun for two years straight. Metaphorically, not literally. A, I mean, how'd you pay your bills? Because you can stand there staring at the sun. You're not even making a lot of money. And nowadays, you got to be as a grown-ass adult making money consistently to even live. So, I don't recommend staring at the sun for extended periods of time. And science doesn't ever recommend even really looking at the sun. Because it'll burn your eyes out, man. That's what they say. I do it every once in a while. Sure, you have some eye problems, but nothing major yet. So, we're taking a look at the sun. Because the sun's been acting really, really weird. How weird has the sun been acting? Weird enough for NASA to quote me, Thor, and Thor News. In our epic quest to figure out what the hell's going on in outer space. This is the sun in the middle. Right? That is the size of the sun. Which is massive. It is like a zillion times bigger than Earth. Give or take a zillion. And so, this train... I'm thinking of a wedding dress. You know they have wedding dresses and they have the train on I've never been married. Not yet, anyways. So I don't know. I mean, I've seen trains on dresses, and that's what the sun reminds me of. That she's wearing a wedding dress. It's got an extremely long train. I guess probably 12, 13 times sun size. You could fit 13 little circle suns in here. That is freaking huge. If the sun uses its self like turbo jets like if i want to go left i've got an extra turbo super plasma coronal solar flare turbo that's what i'm gonna do well that's what i'm gonna do as i've detailed exhaustively our solar observing fleet is old breaking down nobody seems to care they got bigger fish to unfry another thing that i've noted is a uh, big bang I think science has been staring at the big bang for two years it's made him crazy Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there's, so you got, you got a lightsaber, a lobster claw, a dark matter lobster claw, and a giant wedding dress train. What does this mean for you, for your town, and for your world? This is Thor News doing a very bad impression of a culture and a language. It doesn't even really exist, except for in my mind. I'm glad you're with me. Try not to be a hater. The last thing the world needs right now is more haters, man. Why is everybody so angry? That's rhetorical. I know the answer. Everybody's been programmed to be angry. And the system was made to make you frustrated. Confused. But I love you. And the future is what we make it. So... Let's do this up the right way, shall we? God bless everyone. Yeah. We're looking at our old good friend, Stereo Ahead HI1.
And if this camera is real, this is distressing. If you'll notice, on November 22nd, 0 9-11, we get the wedding train beginning from the sun. It's now over 35 hours later. I think that math's correct. And the sun's ducktail, tuck's tail, is going bigger. See that? Bigger and bigger. So the sun is over off screen. For it to have a two day long duration solar flare that big is pretty impressive. Now we're looking at the giant tail, the stereo head core too. It's got an odd curvature. These are like the arms sticking out. This is the flaming cap head. It's all pronged the V. Don't make no damn sense. What is that, man? What, what are you pointing at? As I said, when the sun goes crazy, people go crazy. So, I go crazy. So I'm gonna do my best during this November 25th, double peaked middle maximum, that was totally crazy episode. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna act as weird as freaking possible. But I'm probably not gonna be able to do it. My heart inner sadness. Okay, so great. Let's do some comedy. What we got going on? We got Venus leaving the frame, and she's been acting real weird. Weird, with heavy emotional upticks and swings. Heavy emotions, mood swings. You know, like for example, a new development we have now that we've not had in the two years that I've been covering the sun and started this solar maximum that never ends is the sun is this white circle in the middle. My editing tricks. And so I call it the wedding train the other day. It was like if she's a bride, this is her like wedding dress train. So you got Venus, the sun freaking out. Look at that. That thing is huge. And it's just been there for a while. The solar train. The solar wedding dress train. And then you got Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, all in frame for one day. It's kind of weird. It almost looks like those two planets are lining up right about now. Or soon. Or who knows. I know math. Not as good as geometry as I should be. Which is an understatement. Anyway, so the sun's been freaking out. People have been freaking out. I don't have to calm down and make this funny. And I gotta figure out what planet that is, man. Because there ain't no truth in advertising. Look at that. That's crazy. I mean, that is just, I don't even know. Somebody do the math. How many circles could you fit in there? It's like a chunky block. Look at those waves that are radiating. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody needs somebody. And I want somebody like you. Ooh, I've got a very serious question for you, and I'd like you to answer it honestly. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you get up and walk out on me? I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. I get by. Okay, yeah, so the loops are loopy. Man, I'm running out of jokes for the giant freaking loop. You know? So over here, you've got this massive, look at that, stream. Something's going down. And if this were a science fiction novel, I would guess that science and those in your upper government knew exactly what I'm talking about. And they're prepping for it. And it would seem like they're doing everything to keep you distracted from the fact that your son is freaking out. Now, if it does turn into some apocalypto situation where somehow the sun sheds the skin like a snake, blows off its outer layer, and there's darkness for like three days, don't panic, or the drones will get you. Stay home for three days, man. I can always tell when they're trying to harp me, man, because my brain will just say things like, you don't make good videos. I'll be like, what, brain? I would never say that in my life, ever. You know, that's like brain, that's like telling me water's not wet. So obviously I didn't come up with that sentence. 